Gene Nomenclature, Wikipedia Audio Gene nomenclature is the scientific naming of genes, the units of heredity in living organisms. An international committee published recommendations for genetic symbols and nomenclature in 1957. The need to develop formal guidelines for human gene names and symbols was recognized in the 1960s and full guidelines were issued in 1979. Several other genus-specific research communities have adopted nomenclature standards, as well, and have published them on the relevant model organism websites and in scientific journals, including the Trends in Genetics Genetic Nomenclature Guide. Scientists familiar with a particular gene family may work together to revise the nomenclature for the entire set of genes when new information becomes available. For many genes and their corresponding proteins, an assortment of alternate names is in use across the scientific literature and public biological databases, posing a challenge to effective organization and exchange of biological information. Standardization of nomenclature thus tries to achieve the benefits of vocabulary control and bibliographic control, although adherence is voluntary. The advent of the information age has brought gene ontology, which in some ways is a next step of gene nomenclature, because it aims to unify the representation of gene and gene product attributes across all species. Gene nomenclature and protein nomenclature are not separate endeavors, they are aspects of the same whole. Any name or symbol used for a protein can potentially also be used for the gene that encodes it, and vice versa. But owing to the nature of how science has developed, proteins and their corresponding genes have not always been discovered simultaneously, which is the largest reason why protein and gene names do not always match, or why scientists tend to favor one symbol or name for the protein and another for the gene. Another reason is that many of the mechanisms of life are the same or very similar across species, genera, orders, and phyla, so that a given protein may be produced in many kinds of organisms, and thus scientists naturally often use the same symbol and name for a given protein in one species as in another species. Regarding the first duality, the context usually makes the sense clear to scientific readers and the nomenclatural systems also provide for some specificity by using italic for a symbol when the gene is meant and plain for when the protein is meant. Regarding the second duality, the nomenclatural systems also provide for at least human versus non-human specificity by using different capitalization, although scientists often ignore this distinction, given that it is often biologically irrelevant. Also owing to the nature of how scientific knowledge has unfolded, proteins and their corresponding genes often have several names and symbols that are synonymous. Some of the earlier ones may be deprecated in favor of newer ones, although such deprecation is voluntary. Some older names and symbols live on simply because they have been widely used in the scientific literature and are well established among users. Species-specific guidelines Lastly, some proteins and protein complexes are built from the products of several genes, which means that the protein or complex will not have the same name or symbol as any one gene. The Hugo Gene Nomenclature Committee is responsible for providing human gene naming guidelines and approving new, unique human gene names and symbols. For some non-human species, model organism databases serve as central repositories of guidelines and help resources, including advice from curators and nomenclature committees. In addition to species-specific databases, approved gene names and symbols for many species can be located in the National Center for Biotechnology Information's on Gene Database.
RPOA encodes the alpha subunit of RNA polymerase, RPOB encodes the beta subunit of RNA polymerase, POLA encodes DNA polymerase I, POLC encodes DNA polymerase III, RPs L encodes R ribosomal P rhodian, S mol S12. There are generally accepted rules and conventions used for naming genes in bacteria. Standards were proposed in 1966 by Demiric ETL. Each bacterial gene is denoted by a mnemonic of three lowercase letters which indicate the pathway or process in which the gene product is involved, followed by a capital letter signifying the actual gene. In some cases, the gene letter may be followed by an allele number. All letters and numbers are underlined or italicized. For example, LEUA is one of the genes of the leucine biosynthetic pathway, and LEUA273 is a particular allele of this gene. Where the actual protein coded by the gene is known then it may become part of the basis of the mnemonic, thus. Some gene designations refer to a known general function. Loss of gene activity leads to a nutritional requirement not exhibited by the wild type. DNA is involved in DNA replication. Amino acids Some pathways produce metabolites that are precursors of more than one pathway. Hence, loss of one of these enzymes will lead to a requirement for more than one amino acid. For example, ALA equals alanine, ARG equals arginine, ASN equals asparagine. Bacterial genetic nomenclature Nucleotides Vitamins Loss of gene activity leads to loss of the ability to catabolize the compound. If the gene in question is the wild type a superscript plus sign is used. If a gene is mutant, it is signified by a superscript. By convention, if neither is used, it is considered to be mutant. There are additional superscripts and subscripts which provide more information about the mutation. General Rules Common Mnemonics other modifiers ILV, isoleucine and v aline Biosynthetic genes Catabolic genes Drug and bacteriophage resistance genes Nonsense suppressor mutations Mutant nomenclature When referring to the genotype the mnemonic is italicized and not capitalized. When referring to the gene product or phenotype, the mnemonic is first letter capitalized and not italicized. GUA equals guanine, PER equals purines, PYR equals pyrimidine, THI equals thymine. Protein names are the same as the gene names, but the protein names are not italicized, and the first letter is uppercase. E.g. the name of RNA polymerase is RPOB, and this protein is encoded by RPOB gene. Bio equals biotin, NAD equals NAD, PAN equals pantothenic acid. The research communities of vertebrate model organisms have adopted guidelines whereby genes in these species are given, whenever possible, the same names as their human orthologs. The use of prefixes on gene symbols to indicate species is discouraged. The recommended formatting of printed gene and protein symbols varies between species. Era equals Arabinose, Gal equals Galactose, Lac equals Lactose, Mal equals Maltose, Man equals Manos, Mel equals Malibios, RHA equals Ramnose, XYL equals xylose. Phenotype nomenclature. Vertebrate genes and proteins have names and symbols, which are short identifiers. 
for example, the gene cytotoxic T lymphocyte associated protein 4 has the HGNC symbol CTLA4. These symbols are usually, but not always, coined by contraction or acronymic abbreviation of the name. They are pseudoacronyms, however, in the sense that they are complete identifiers by themselves short names, essentially. They are synonymous with the gene-slash-protein name, regardless of whether the initial letters match. For example, the symbol for the gene Vianite murine thymoma viral oncogene homolog 1, which is AKT1, cannot be said to be an acronym for the name, and neither can any of its various synonyms, which include AKT, PKB, Perkaba, and RAC. Thus, the relationship of a gene symbol to the gene name is functionally the relationship of a nickname to a formal name it is not the relationship of an acronym to its expansion. In this sense they are similar to the symbols for units of measurement in the SI system, in that they can be viewed as true logograms rather than just abbreviations. Sometimes the distinction is academic, but not always. Although it is not wrong to say that VEGFA is an acronym standing for Vascular Endothelial Growth Factor A, just as it is not wrong that KM is an abbreviation for kilometer, there is more to the formality of symbols than those statements capture. The root portion of the symbols for a gene family is called a root symbol. The Hugo Gene Nomenclature Committee is responsible for providing human gene naming guidelines and approving new, unique human gene names and symbols. All human gene names and symbols can be searched online at the HGNC website, and the guidelines for their formation are available there. The guidelines for humans fit logically into the larger scope of vertebrates in general, and the HGNC's remit has recently expanded to assigning symbols to all vertebrate species without an existing nomenclature committee, to ensure that vertebrate genes are named in line with their human orthologs slash paralogs. Human gene symbols generally are italicized, with all letters in uppercase. Italics are not necessary in gene catalogs. Protein designations are the same as the gene symbol, but are not italicized, with all letters in uppercase. MRNAs and CNAs use the same formatting conventions as the gene symbol. For naming families of genes, the HGNC recommends using a root symbol as the root for the various gene symbols. For example, for the peroxyridoxin family, PRDX is the root symbol, and the family members are PRDX1, PRDX2, PRDX3, PRDX4, PRDX5, and PRDX6. Gene symbols generally are italicized, with only the first letter in uppercase and the remaining letters in lowercase. Italics are not required on web pages. Protein designations are the same as the gene symbol but are not italicized and all are uppercase. Nomenclature generally follows the conventions of human nomenclature. Gene symbols generally are italicized, with all letters in uppercase. Protein designations are the same as the gene symbol, but are not italicized, all letters are in uppercase. MRNAs and CNAs use the same formatting conventions as the gene symbol. Gene symbols are italicized and all letters are in lowercase. Protein designations are the same as the gene symbol, are not italicized, and all letters are in uppercase. Gene symbols are italicized and all letters are in lowercase. Protein designations are the same as the gene symbol, are not italicized, the first letter is in uppercase and the remaining letters are in lowercase. Bacterial Protein Name Nomenclature Gene symbols are italicized, with all letters in lowercase. Protein designations are the same as the gene symbol, 
but are not italicized, the first letter is in uppercase and the remaining letters are in lowercase. A nearly universal rule in copy editing of articles for public health journals is that abbreviations and acronyms must be expanded at first use, to provide a glossing type of explanation. Typically no exceptions are permitted except for small lists of especially well-known terms. Although readers with high subject matter expertise do not need most of these expansions, those with intermediate or low expertise are appropriately served by them. LAUA plus Vertebrate gene and protein symbol conventions one complication that gene and protein symbols bring to this general rule is that they are not, accurately speaking, abbreviations or acronyms, despite the fact that many were originally coined via abbreviating or acronymic etymology. They are pseudo-acronyms because they do not stand for any expansion. Rather, the relationship of a gene symbol to the gene name is functionally the relationship of a nickname to a formal name it is not the relationship of an acronym to its expansion. In fact, many official gene symbol gene name pairs do not even share their initial letter sequences. Nevertheless, gene and protein symbols look just like abbreviations and acronyms which presents the problem that failing to expand them creates the appearance of violating the spell-out-all acronyms rule. LAUE One common way of reconciling these two opposing forces is simply to exempt all gene and protein symbols from the glossing rule. This is certainly fast and easy to do, and in highly specialized journals, it is also justified because the entire target readership has high subject matter expertise. And they know where to look them up online for further details if needed. But for journals with broader and more general target readerships, this action leaves the readers without any explanatory annotation and can leave them wondering what the apparent abbreviation stands for and why it was not explained. Therefore, a good alternative solution is simply to put either the official gene name or a suitable short description in parentheses after the first use of the official gene slash protein symbol. This meets both the formal requirement and the functional requirement. The same guideline applies to shorthand names for sequence variations, AMA says, in general medical publications. Textual explanations should accompany the shorthand terms at first mention. Thus 188DEL11 is glossed as an 11BP deletion at nucleotide 188. This corollary rule often also follows the abbreviation leading style of expansion that is becoming more prevalent in recent years. Traditionally, the abbreviation always followed the fully expanded form in parentheses at first use. This is still the general rule. But for certain classes of abbreviations or acronyms or standardized polychemotherapy regimens, this pattern may be reversed, because the short form is more widely used and the expansion is merely parenthetical to the discussion at hand. The same is true of gene-slash-protein symbols. TS equals temperature sensitive, CS equals cold sensitive, M equals amber mutation, UM equals umber mutation, OC equals ochre mutation, R equals resistant. Symbol and name Human Mouse and rat the Hugo Gene Nomenclature Committee maintains an official symbol and name for each human gene, as well as a list of synonyms and previous symbols and names. For example, for AFF1, previous symbols and names are MLLT2 homolog, translocated to, 2 and PBM1, and synonyms are AF4 and AF4. Authors of journal articles often use the latest official symbol and name, but just as often they use synonyms and previous symbols and names, which are well established by earlier use in the literature. 
AMA style is that authors should use the most up-to-date term and that in any discussion of a gene, it is recommended that the approved gene symbol be mentioned at some point, preferably in the title and abstract if relevant. Because copy editors are not expected or allowed to rewrite the gene and protein nomenclature throughout a manuscript, the middle ground in manuscripts using synonyms or older symbols is that the copy editor will add a mention of the current official symbol at least as a parenthetical gloss at the first mention of the gene or protein, and query for confirmation. Some basic conventions such as that animal-slash-human homologue pairs differ in letter case and that the symbol is italicized when referring to the gene but non-italic when referring to the protein, are often not followed by contributors to public health journals. Many journals have the copy editors restyle the casing and formatting to the extent feasible, although in complex genetics discussions only subject matter experts can effortlessly parse them all. One example that illustrates the potential for ambiguity among non-SMEs is that some official gene names have the word protein within them, so the phrase brain protein I3 and brain protein I3 are both valid. The AMA manual gives another example, both the TH gene and the TH gene can validly be parsed as correct, because the first mentions the alias and the latter mentions the symbol. This seems confusing on the surface, although it is easier to understand when explained as follows, in this gene's case, as in many others, the alias happens to use the same letter string that the symbol uses. There is no way for a non-SME to know this is the case for any particular letter string without looking up every gene from the manuscript in a database such as NCBI gene reviewing its symbol, name, and alias list, and doing some mental cross-referencing and double-checking. Most medical journals do not pay for that level of fact-checking as part of their copy-editing service level, therefore, it remains the author's responsibility. However, as pointed out earlier, many authors make little attempt to follow the letter case or italic guidelines and regarding protein symbols, they often won't use the official symbol at all. For example, although the guidelines would call P53 protein TP53 in humans or TP53 in rats, most authors call it P53 in both, not least because of the biologic principle that many proteins are essentially or exactly the same molecules regardless of mammalian species. Regarding the gene, authors are usually willing to call it by its human-specific symbol and capitalization, TP53, and may even do so without being prompted by a query. But the end result of all these factors is that the published literature often does not follow the nomenclature guidelines completely. Chicken Anoli lizard Frog Zebrafish Gene and protein symbol and description in copy editing Expansion Synonyms and previous symbols and names Styling Delta equals deletion, equals fusion, equals fusion, equals insertion, omega equals a genetic construct introduced by a two-point crossover Delta deleted gene, replacing gene equals deletion with replacement indicates that the LeUA gene has been deleted and replaced with the gene for neomycin phosphotransferase, which confers canamycin resistance, as oftentimes parenthetically noted for drug resistance markers.